to work with Rangi, and he's just coming up 14. He's come in because he's slowing down the hind legs today, and he's just been not quite well the last couple of days. Some days he's a bit more mobile than others, but he is really struggling, and he's also having a wee bit of issue with his breathing. It is middle of summer here, so he is really um, quite hot, and of course he's black. But the other thing that great owners have noticed is that he's actually got some lumps coming up, which is pretty normal for a Labrador, but these are in special places. So that's what we're going to show you today. He's actually got his glands in his neck are quite large, so you can't really see for the black, but you can see they're bulging out there. So they're about that big, just under the skin, and they're moving. And he's got one on the other side as well. So they're what we call submandibular lymph nodes. So that's a large. He's also got a lump here, which is what we call this prescapula. And that's enlarged as well on both sides. And then he's actually got a little one under here on the axilla as well. But the other one I go for is the one just at the back of the stifle. And that's enlarged too. That's what we call the popliteal. So that's about that size. And that's on both back legs. So it's not that many things that cause all the lymph nodes up, other than really unfortunately lymphoma. So we've had a wee bit of a discussion. It's advisable to have some aspirates done just to confirm the diagnosis, and then we have to talk treatment. And chemo is an option. It does give them a little bit of more time, um, but certainly it's something that the vet has to discuss with the owner and see where they want to go. So that's what we're going to do with Remy. All right, thanks for watching.